more information about Lady Mariko's past and her father's treachery of a previous Japanese king prior to the Taiko can be found in Shogun Episode 6, Ladies of the Willow World. The episode discloses that Achiba no Kata, whose birth name was Ruri, and Mariko were childhood friends and allies. It also provides background information on the events leading up to Mariko and Totobuntero's marriage. The narrative is likely to escalate to a bloody clash between Toranaga and Ishido's soldiers, while Shogun continues to delve into the continuing, covert relationship between Mariko and Blackthorn in some of its more tender moments. Based on Yodo Dono, Achiba no Kata, the Shogun's lady, Yodo no Kata, a Sengoku princess, served as the model for Achiba no Kata, also known as Lady Achiba. Of all the samurai princesses that lived throughout the Sengoku era, Yodo no Kata's life was arguably the most spectacular, as Aichacha was her birth name. Her mother was Oichi no Kata, the younger sister of Oda Nobunaga, and her father was the warlord Azai Nagamasa. Yodo no Kata was the mother and guardian of Toyotomi Hidori, the only son of Teiko, and the concubine and second wife of Ichio Nakamura. Yodo no Kata's background and that of Shogun's lady Achiba are very similar. The heir's mother, Achiba no Kata, is the most powerful lady in Japan and is both revered and feared. She has substantial political power in Osaka because she was the sole child and consort of the late Teiko. Unfortunately for Shogun fans, Yodo no Kata would lead the last effort to stop Tokugawa Yasu from becoming Shogun before the dangerous siege of Osaka, which is where Shogun's final season 1 narrative seems to be going. Why Achiba was added to Ruri's name Kata the original name of Lady Achiba was Ruri, which means lapis lazuli in Japanese. Lapis lazuli is a well-liked historic gemstone and among the oldest naturally occurring stones ever discovered. Mainbury claims that it was a frequent practice in Japan to name children after gemstones in order to ward off evil spirits. During her early years, Lady Achiba was known as Ruri. However, her life would never be the same after her father was killed by Mariko's father. In Shogun, Ruri is the daughter of the assassinated Lord Kuroda, although Yodo no Kata in real life was not the daughter of Oda Nobunaga. After Mariko's father assassinated her father, Ruri's early existence as a princess was all but ruined, but she remained determined to move back up the social ladder and regain her position of advantage and power. Among the Taiko's numerous consorts, she was chosen, and amazingly, she was the only one to be able to carry him a son. She became unquestionably powerful after giving birth to Ichio Nakamura, making her one of the most powerful people in Japan at that time. Now being the royal daughter of a fallen emperor, Ruri was now Achiba no Kata, the mother of the heir. The Taiko's relationship with Lady Achiba and their heir described. Since she was the first Taiko concubine to bear him an heir and maintain his direct lineage, Lady Achiba's rise to prominence as one of the most influential people in Japan is unquestionable. For this reason, even though Ishido and the Council of Regents shared power over Japan following the Taiko's passing, they still owe her the highest regard. Lady Achiba has good reason to fear that Toronaga is planning to assassinate both her and the young heir to the Taiko family in order to create his own shogunate. No one in the series is as aware of the crafty perils of Toronaga as Lady Achiba is. Even though Lady Mariko's father, Eikshai Jinsa, was the one who really killed her father, Lord Kuroda, Lady Achiba is certain that Toronaga was responsible. The cruelty of Lord Kuroda's authority particularly shocked both Toranaga and Aikchai Jinsa, and at the time Ruri had been closely observing Toranaga's strategies, maybe even more so than anyone else had ever noticed. She is so sure that Toranaga is going to assault Osaka and utilize his Minoara heritage to lay claim to the Japanese shogunate because of this. Why Lady Achiba in Osaka is so much stronger than Lord Ishido. Ishido technically has joint leadership of the Council of Regents, including with all of its complexities and check and balance mechanisms. In reality, Lady Achiba does not see the Council of Regents' joint rule as being superior to her own and the young heir. Lady Achiba sees the Council of Regents and Ishido as puppets and stand-ins until her son reaches adulthood, exactly the same structure that the Taiko put in place before to his passing. For this reason, Ishido effectively follows Lady Achiba's orders because he also recognizes the authority of the Council of Regents. The last Regents member standing in Ishido's path of impeaching Toranaga is killed, namely Sujiyama. This serves Lady Achiba's interests, who most likely gave Ishido the order to assassinate Sujiyama. Either Toranaga will have finished his battle in Osaka by then, or another new member of the Council of Regents will need to be formed in order to impeach and execute Toranaga in later episodes of Shogun. One thing about Lord Toranaga that is certain is that he has persisted in hiding his true feelings. But Lady Achiba's knowledge of his strategies can pose problems for Toranaga and Shogun. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.